Okay, hey, welcome to the garage. I'm going to uh, go over what I bring on my carry on my bike, uh, my uh, trail tools. I let's get into it. I have this giant loop possible bag. I strap this to the rear fender on my bike, and uh, this is what I use to carry my trail tools. Let's take a look. Okay. This is a giant loop possible bag, uh, roll top, waterproof. It works well for what I use it for. Okay, in here I got a uh, shift lever. Let's see. Uh, spare tube and my tool roll. And this whole setup is about five pounds including the possibles bag. So uh, it's not too too heavy. All right let's uh, okay spare tube 21 inch fits front and rear. Uh, it's a tube. We we know what a tube is, so set that aside. Okay, shift lever. I bring a shift lever. Uh, if you fall over in the rocks, you bend this thing. It's not like in the olden days when you could put a crescent wrench on it and bend it to any shape. Uh, you know, bend it back into shape. These are really, it's a cast piece. It's difficult to, to get it back into shape. So this is an old one that's been uh, uh, bent and then rebent to work and I carry it with me. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. It saves a lot of time on the trail and it uh, saves a lot of grief. So I bring it. Next we have my Wolfman tool roll. Let's take a look inside here. This is all the tools I bring and they work for, uh, they work for me on the trail. Okay, here's, uh, we'll take a look at it and go through each item individually. Okay, first a, a pair of tire irons, levers, this is Ballard's. Um, I like these very much. They remind me of a, a pair of Metzler tire irons I had a long time ago that um, they really work well. These have a very, come to a point where the bead crosses the rim, you can really dig in there and you can get them. They have these, um, some cutouts, this is stamped metric sizes, 8 through 17. Um, they're handy. I don't think I've ever used them, um, but they're there. So, tire irons. I have another tire iron, um, Motion Pro. But this one, I use not as a tire iron. I mean, I can, but this type of spoon really doesn't work for me. It's kind of thick and it's kind of wide. What I use this for is... I will use this Motion Pro, Pro adapter and uh, put in here and that gives me a capability for a 3 8 drive and I'll use this with this 17 millimeter socket on this extension and I use this for uh, the front uh, front sprocket. So I've been known to bring a, you know, run a 15, but bring a, a 14 and a 13. And um, so depending on the conditions, single track or something, you know, like maybe I'll pop on a 13, a tooth front sprocket. And I don't do it all the time, but I can. With this, I'm, I'm able to do it. Um, I have a 50 tooth rear, um, uh, rear sprocket, 116 link chain, I believe. And... With that setup, I'm able to run a 13, 14, or 15 tooth front sprocket. This is on a KTM uh, 500 EXC. Um, so that's a good setup. I've used it many times, and it, it works. It works in the field, and it works in the shop, in the garage. I have also a um, quarter-inch drive breaker bar, and then some sockets in this tube. Just, you know, what's in here, 13 and a bunch of sockets that I'll use in an extension. It, so it's, we all know about what those are. So also I'll bring, um, I have these two wrenches, a 10 and a 13. This is for the chain adjustment um, on this axle block. Yeah, I bring that, a six millimeter Allen a spare clutch lever 
Um, I have the spark plug um, tool that you'll need to pull a spark plug out. Um, a pair of these um, Lyman's pliers. You know, you can cut wire, you can twist wire. This is, works really well to put the clip on the master link. Take it off and put it back on. So, I have those. And then I bring a, a small file and another Allen for something and a little ruler. Also with me, I have a spare uh, axle block. These are known to crack, so I bring an extra one. This happens to have a dome washer zip tied onto it. Um, but I'll bring in the axle block and I will bring a axle nut. They will split open. You wrench on it too hard. If it's, you know, gets hit, they, I, they, they can split open. So I bring those. Um, and I have uh, just a little inner tube section with some bolts in it. So we don't need to open that up. So that's what's in my tool roll. Um, okay. So I have those items. This, also, I will bring with me is uh, this Motion Pro um, chain tool. Now, um, I don't always bring it. It depends where I'm going, how far out in the boonies I'm getting, um, how far, you know, it just, it all depends. But if, what I have in here is, this is the Motion Pro chain tool. It works really well. So here's the tool itself. This will this will break apart a chain. Here's, I bring a piece of chain with me. It will drive these pins out, right? So you can split a chain. Also, um, I have a handle so you get some leverage on it. Also, with this in here, you have some anvils that come with it. Like these blue here will press the master link uh, backing plate on okay. and then you have this pair is used to press the um, master link backing plate off it actually says off on it all right also in here i have a little um uh, valve stem core remover bring that uh, one of the neat things about this tool is you, with it you get this um, piece this is an adapter and you put it in the handle now you have a quarter inch drive um, uh, adapt uh, quarter inch drive there and the whole tool will work as a uh, t-handle so that's pretty neat right? I think that's pretty cool so that's it also with the in this bag here I have some CO2 and the valve that goes with it some um, thread locker um, there's another bottle of CO2 and spare uh, master links I have two in here a DID and uh, I think it's a Regina uh, 520 for 520 chain that's all that's in in there Okay, so let's let's move on because I do bring I do bring other things with me. I don't I will carry these items in in my um, backpack in their light. So in this case here, I'll have a bandana. I'll have some quick steel, a spark plug, some gloves. That I bring and some zip ties so I'll bring that with me this is if I have a change of tire I don't want to bust up my hands so I'll bring it and quick steel works really well you you fall over in the rocks punch a hole in your um, side cover uh, you can use a file or something sandpaper if you bring it clean it up um, knead this together the two parts and 
effect a, a repair on that um, cover, side cover that has a hole busted into it. All right, so I'll bring those. Th this stuff will be in my backpack, though. Okay. Um, also, I will bring. A lot of times, I bring this um, first aid kit. So let me slide this stuff out of the way. Try not to be too messy. And in here, okay, I have a lighter. I have this is band aids and gauze and and um, knuckle bandages and it's boo 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 kit. All right, um, space blanket. I have a frontier straw. For filtering water you will go and get fill this bag up with water and um, and use the straw to drink from the bag so I have a, a bed bug um, mos mosquito net because uh, I do not like to get bit by mosquitoes and if you have to change a flat tire and you're in the woods and there's mosquitoes oh man it's rough it's really rough um, I have a little knife that I bring. It happens to be in there. And a single signaling mirror. Which honestly I've never used, but it's I have it. So <laughs> you know. I have a whist whistle also. It should be in here. I don't know where it is. I'd rather have bring a whistle. Um you your voice doesn't carry across the canyon on, on the wind, but a whistle will. So those are some things I bring there. Uh, also, my backpack, I'll bring my uh, tire pump. And, on occasion, I will bring my trail stand. This is, uh, you, you don't always find a rock or a stump to put your motorcycle on if you got to do some repairs, pull a front tire off or, or a rear tire. Um, this works. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably just strip it down, pull these parts off, make it as small as it can, and I'll put it, I wouldn't carry this in the backpack, it's too heavy, but I'll put it in um, a front fender um, bag along with, um, you know, maybe I'll split some items up. I'll put this in a front fender bag with a spare rear tire, you know, or... Or if I ha if I'm carrying, you know, um, my Mojave saddlebags, it, this all fits in there. I can I can put all this stuff in there, and just depending where I'm going, if I'm camping or whatever, I'll bring this. If I'm going on a trip, it'll make your life easier if you have to. Uh... Oh, and it works good just to lube the chain, you know. So it's a handy item. So I think that's about other than electronics cameras and phones and um, things like that um, that's about what I bring I do have I think it's under the seat on the motorcycle a um, I have a cap emergency a capacitor emergency jump starter that I keep in there but this is what I bring it's a bunch of stuff it in total everything here I think it I weighed it one time I think it's at like seven pounds so it's not it's not crazy heavy. Um, I've worked hard to to um, <laughs> worked hard to figure out what to bring as far as tools and and um, you know the spares that I do actually it's just shift levers. Um, well, it is a shift lever, and um, that's that's what I got. So. Took a long time, a lot of years riding to figure this stuff out. This is what I got so far. So, all right, appreciate it. Thank you for watching.